Hello, hello, Maud here. Today I want to take you along in doing an ode to the snowdrops. It's they're just about to to come out here in my garden, and um, I have gathered all kinds of things that I have with snowdrops, and I did some sketching in my sketchbook, and. Um, yeah, let's have fun doing these. And for those of you who don't know it already, I cut my thumb really bad on a tomato knife with a tomato knife. And uh, thank you so much for those of you on Instagram who wished my thumb well. He is getting better, as you can see. <laughs> but um, hey, let's dive straight in. I've got a channel that I want to recommend to you, and that is the Creative cove uh, a lady named michelle i'll link her channel down below and uh, she inspired me completely to do drawing again and um, messing about with watercolor pa um, paint and i have done some this is all stamped and then watercolored on watercolor paper that i completely um yeah messed up on the other side but it is working and i did these she encourages you and me to work on all kinds of paper scraps mainly so if things don't work out no problem just throw them in the bin but i thought um i did some drawing Yesterday, I was not confident in drawing. My little thumb here hurt also. So what I did yesterday was stamping. So I have this snowdrop stamp. And today I took out my die. I think I bought this locally. And I did a bunch of snowdrop dies. And I also went looking through a magazine. So I've got lots of images of snowdrops from a magazine. Oh, don't you just love this one? And then imagine this with all the pencils and the things that we have for junk journaling. So I'll put, oh yeah. And I could not resist this funny little guy. But, Let's just do these first, because what I do with my die cuts is that I, and I've glued this one to the table. I cut it twice. Once in green and once in white. And I do want these little insert thingies. And then I put a little glue on there. If my glue wants to come out, yep. Okay, this is fiddly, but... And this one will glue to the table again, I think. Just glue this on top. Let me zoom you in. Let me just show it to you like this. So I really like it when there's more dimension to it, when you put a separate piece on the snow bell itself. So it does take you a little bit longer to put these through the die cut machine, but I think we all have scraps of white paper, so I just used some scraps for that. But let's put these aside for now. And I used two different colors of green, so I can make um yeah a display using different colors i think that looks nice i 
I really love how this turned out. And also these that I drew myself. And I tried them with a little more detail. So I made them a little bigger and also tried to make them really small. And then, of course, the detail gets lost, but that's okay. And I have already looked for a page that I want to work in. And I want this one here. And I think I'm going to glue this page down. This journal is already getting chunky, so that's why I glue pages together. And obviously I could also make a journaling card out of this, putting some scrap papers on the back, but for now, I just thought, let's put this one here. And let's see what I want to. This one here. And I am giving it some thought of what I want to wear, but I'm not thinking about it too long. And what I liked in my sketchbook is that I outlined the images. So I think I want to do that with these ones too. But what I also want to do is make this one more painterly. So what I'm going to do is get out my uh, clear gesso, put a, a thin coat of clear gesso on here same with this one i think and then it is easier for me to put some paint on top or to scribble on top and also these images are really fun because for future reference if i want to draw uh, snow snow uh, drops snow bells what is it snow bells snow drop i can um yeah, take these images out again and do some sketching and also if I do some sketching on top it makes me it, it gives me the feeling of what they they look like it, it, yeah um, no more rambling I'm going to take out my clear gesso and just put a thin coat of clear gesso on here so this is my clear gesso by Winsor & Newton I don't prefer this brand over um, Amsterdam or what so, but I was in a store and they had this one and they recommended it to me and it is quite good. So yeah, there are all kinds of clear gessos I think that work fine. I just want a really thin coat.
Well, this needs to dry a bit and I'll be back in a second. So everything is now dry and it feels really rough, like sandy almost. And let's take out my Stabilo All Pencil and just Sometimes I forget how black the Stabilo gets. But I do like the effect of the black borders around it. I think the point already broke on me again. I think this one fell down and the point is constantly breaking. I'm really sorry that that happened, but because these things are quite expensive, but I can't help it. And I have to dry this off again because otherwise everything will smear. So I'll be back in a second again. Now this one is a little bit too black for my liking. So I'm just going to try something out. I think this already looks better and I'm going to give these some highlights as well. again and try some doodling here Now this already looks more painterly and I'm really liking the effect that it has. And let me also Like they come out of their frame.
me create some and let's give them their signature leaves also in here because these are really thin and narrow and sometimes they have this bend let me see if i can zoom you in no it doesn't want to work today so i'm really sorry i try to do something with my edit program and a little of dark green in there as well Gelados will smear a lot better. Yeah. And now it is going from a photo into a much more painterly kind of scribble look at it how lovely it doesn't look like a photo at all anymore and perhaps I want to blend these a little bit I like them dry to use them and I like them this painterly and I want some extra white on the let me see Woody wants to do that And if you're wondering uh, and saying, uh, Mon, I don't have all the supplies that you have. Yeah, I am really fortunate. I got another gift certificate for Christmas this year for my uh, favorite craft store. So I went and bought myself some new craft supplies. I know I am so fortunate in that, but um, hey, I think that if you love this as much as I do, yeah, ask craft supplies whenever it's your birthday or I can't stop playing. Oh, <laughs> I really love this. and I think I want to give this a darker edge as well but I was not happy with the star below all how black it got so let me see if I have something else oh and what I did is I put all my um, neo color twos in in these um, plant containers I found them in the thrift store for 25 cents each so I'm really happy with them but let me see what I can do what is this 
This is sepia. Sepia, sepia. In Dutch, it's sepia. Now let's do something with the die cuts and since the snow drops are always growing in leaves and dirt and let me see yeah I think I've got an idea because I did the circle here that I really like and I had, <laughs> I finished this one because I had to use so much plaster. How about I put a circle here. Oh, you guys, this junk journal is getting so junky. Now let's and let's put a little bit of circle here as well. And let's use the same blue. I have in here. No, it was a gelato. I still had some sepia in there from using it there but I think that works out fine and I think I need another circle here so it makes a triangle circles here oh sorry that you hear my wolfie barking again I think she sees her friends outside but I'm not sure Let me see what I want to use. Nope. Yeah, let me glue these down. And 
what I'm seeing now is that I want to give this a blue U also. Like the one I have there and more blue behind here. I'm going to take a little break. I hear my husband and he is making us lunch. So yes, I'm really fortunate. He will do the cooking all week because of my little thummy. And um, after my break, I will be back and I think I will um, write something here like I did in my sketch sketchbook and perhaps do a little bit of writing here make um some uh, what you call them labels but i really like where this is where this page is going um yeah hang on for you it will just be a second i'll be back hi returning from my break i saw the whole image um before my break i was focused on every little thing and now i want to make it more cohesive and also i noticed that these are floating in thin air so i don't like that and i took out my what is this cheesecloth that i dyed with acrylic inks and i have some small bits at least i thought i did i want the brown I cannot pull with my thumb, so... <laughs> no, I don't want to cover that part up. Hmm. But let's glue it down anyway. And let's glue some leaves on top. Now this has to dry and 
I tell, I'm telling you this has to dry and I'm putting my finger in there and that doesn't work. Now, what I did in my sketchbook, because there was a drawing underneath here, I took um, acrylic paint, uh, Titan Buff, and I just put a layer on there. I'm going to do the same thing here and here because I'm not liking this too much. And that way I can make some label kind of areas. I like this brand, the Golden. The acrylic paint is really nice, but I don't like these lids. I'm taking it straight from the tube. Now, those of you who've watched me before, you know that this is my go-to paint because it resembles the color of old paper. Oh, I don't like this lid at all because now I can't get it on again. Yeah. Okay, I have to dry this again. And... Um, then I can write something on here if it's completely dry. But, so I dried the paint and it is now dry and I also dried the glue a little bit. And what I did here was use a black pen to make the frames, but I want this rusty brown to come back again. So I'm looking for a pen. Yeah, I have a fine liner here. Let me see if I can. Oh, and make sure that if you use acrylic paint and you want to use fine liners, afterward that your acrylic paint is completely dry otherwise you will ruin your fine liner for sure and now i can write something in here but i want a little bit more. Let me see if this is the right color. Yeah. Yeah, now it comes back and I really like that. And I can write something in here. Let me, um, shall I do that with black again? Let me see if my Tombow works on here. And I'm going to write um, Snowdrop in Dutch again, which is sneeuwklokje hmm. 
what shall I do here? I could write, but uh, do I feel like writing? I'm not sure. You know what? I'm going to leave that one blank for now. And um, call it a day with this page. Uh, let me show you what I did so far. And um, yeah, I hope I have given you some inspiration again. Uh, I will be putting photos on my Instagram account, uh, close-up photos also. And after this video, I will also uh, give you some, some close-up photos. For now, thank you so much for watching. And if you are on Instagram, you can also follow me there. I will put the link down below. I am working on my website a little bit more than last year and I am trying to do a monthly blog on there. Um, so visit my website if you like. I also put a link down below and a big shout out to the Creative Cove. Um, again, I will have her uh, YouTube channel and her Instagram down below so you can see where I got the inspiration for, for this page from. And if you are inspired by me and uh, you want to show what you did, then please send me some photos. My email address is down below or tag me on Instagram. I really love to see what, what you do, what you make. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye for now.